exactly what he's going to do, but a great devour from Swordite keeps his AD cabin alive. Whoa! Gets away! Yasuo in the front line gets two! And it's... Cap is able to push it away. Well, let's see what he can do. Follows up with a few, manages to get the last breath as well. The shield comes up. Whoa! Whoa! Steel Texas for the solo kill! They're going to say, look, you can try, but you know, Steel, your smite is on D. and welcome back to Ultimate List, the home of all esports' craziest and most legendary moments of all time. Brace yourselves, because this week we're taking a look at League of Legends' scariest swordsman to play with and against, Yasuo. Punch from the side of Zen is now king it all alone! But what? Look at the whole baby! What? The Zoe or rather the Yasuo into the back line this Decimates the entire team a quadra kill! Between his insane mobility, late game scaling, and nutty combo potential, Yasuo is one of the most terrifying champions who can become an unstoppable raid boss with just a couple of kills. But with such a powerful kit comes a high skill ceiling, with most players unable to unlock Yasuo's full potential. Thankfully, there's Pro Play, which has given many Yasuo masters the stage to amaze viewers across the world with plays we'll never forget. So with that being said, here are, in no particular order, the five greatest Yasuo plays in LoL Esports history. Noxium Red Force shook up the LCK this summer, climbing to the top of the regular season standings for the first time ever. And one of the biggest factors behind Noxium's success was their mid laner Gori, who took a massive leap in summer, solidifying himself as one of the league's best mid laners. But you can't be a top LCK mid without some unreal plays under your belt, with Gori being no exception. It just so happens that one of those plays is also one of the greatest Yasuo outplays ever. Oh yeah, no, that's absolutely true. As they're trying to get on top of Gory here, Umpty's like, this fight isn't over, guys. Why are you attacking the, the minions? As Gory seems to know it as well. It's a nice knockup, though. He's staying no! alive. And look at this. He's going to be able to create a play. They didn't expect this. Turning around the entire game with that one play, Gory warned any viewers inspired to play Yasuo themselves that the champ is much harder than it looks. And even I feel Yasuo is a very difficult champion to play. So if you really want to play it, you know, don't tilt. And make sure to watch some other, you know, montage of Yasuo players. You know, there are a lot of you know, masters. Released just before the 2014 season, Yasuo quickly became one of the most exciting champions to watch in pro play. One of the first regions to pick up Yasuo was South Korea, which housed many incredible Yasuo gods like Dare, Pawn, Rookie, and of course, Faker. And in Game 1 of the 2014 NLB Summer Finals, Faker showed us all how amazing his Yasuo is, executing one of the craziest solo kills against his future rival, Kuro. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Yeah! Beginning the fight with his ultimate, Faker traded auto attacks before flashing away for some distance. Once Kuro flashed himself, Faker finally threw up his wind wall to avoid death, completing the outplay with his Q and E. Unfortunately for Kuro, this wouldn't be the last time he felt Faker's wrath in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> this next play from LGD legend Godvi is a lesson on why you should always focus Yasuo in team fights. Up against Invictus Gaming in week 4 of the LPL 2015 summer split, Godvi's Yasuo got off to a slow start, falling behind rookies Echo in both kills and gold. 
But Godfi wasn't suffering alone. All of LGD were struggling to keep up with IG's early aggression, losing teamfight after teamfight. And after Kakao stole the dragon, IG looked poised to clean up the rest of LGD and close out the game. Except that IG forgot to kill Yasuo first, with their mistake resulting in a huge quadra kill for Godvi. <laughs> LMQ may only have been a part of the LCS for one split in 2014, but in those few months, they took the league by storm, ending summer in third place with a ticket to Worlds. LMQ's mid laner Zhao Wei Zhao also quickly became one of the LCS's top mid laners, climbing the ranks with his deadly Yasuo. And in their first playoff run, Zhao Wei Zhao and LMQ found themselves battling TSM for a spot in the LCS finals. Down significantly in game four, it seemed impossible for LMQ to win any team fight versus TSM, who controlled the entire map. By 30 minutes, LMQ's base was exposed with the game all but lost. But amidst the chaos, Zhao Wei Zhao made the miracle base defense, deleting all of TSM for the pentakill. Can he get the crits on the infinity edge? One going in. That's a double kill coming in from him. It's a pentakill in his eyes. He looks for the hit. He goes to Lush Boy. That's the triple. He's going to get the quadra. The last hit. He goes oh, for Pearson. Pearson gets the scout of the week. There's He's going to be within range. He gets the speed up from the ball. And like always, we asked you, the viewers, what the most epic Yasuo play of all time was. And the Twitter responses were interesting to say the least, including unforgettable plays like Doombi's intense battle versus Raptors? The flash from Dan, you think he's going another way? Double flash committal here from Chris's launching, stuns him up. Oh, Raptors, no! no! You can't die to the Raptors in the grand final! But as you probably already guessed, this week's most posted play comes from Mr. Yasuo himself, Perks. Up 2-1 versus SKT in the 2019 World Championship semifinals, G2 were just one win away from qualifying for their first World Finals ever. And while they struggled early into Game 4, G2 came back big in the mid-game, demolishing SKT in team fights. But during G2's Baron push, Perks got caught out mid, giving SKT the chance to take back the lead. Fortunately for G2, Perks more than made up for his mistake one minute later, sending his team to the finals with one of the hypest plays in world's history. So Clint had to go up into the air, and it doesn't matter if he messed it up because Clint Khan. is still going to go down. But Khan, right to the backside, Caps goes golden. There's no one else to follow up. Khan's damage doesn't matter. But the ulti comes out in such a close exchange. For now, they're winning, but Perks is coming in. This is his hero moment. If he wants to turn this fight in favor of team, this could be the game. He gets the fight up. moment. Faker is gone. Teddy's next on the list. There's no way he can duel the Yasuo. Amada's coming in, but he's just walking into the meat grinder of Perks. Khan, can he do it? Perks. They've done enough. They've done it. They're going to win. G2. Khan, can he get it done? He can't. The Vladimir, they can't do it. This is it. The greatest team in the history of League of Legends taken down by the greatest team Europe has ever produced. I'm Shox, and that's been this week's episode of Ultimate List. Did we forget a Yasuo play, or do you have any ideas for future episodes? Let us know in the comments down below or on Twitter at Lolisports. See ya!